All right, President Trump has been fighting fake news all year long. It's all fake news. It's phony stuff. It didn't happen. Fake news. Fake news. <laughs> fake news. But it took this group of college students just 36 hours to defeat fake news by developing software called Open Mind. It alerts users when they visit fake news sites and actually helps them find more balanced coverage. Hmm. Joining us now are two of those students, Yale doctoral student Michael Lopez Brow and Caltech undergrad student Alex Quay. Michael, Alex, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Thanks for having so us. So this was part of a contest to, to sort of figure this out. Now, you're a psychologist, a mm -hmm. doctoral student at Yale, and you're a tech guy at Caltech, right? Mm -hmm. How did you find each other together on this project? Um, so we just found each other uh, like on a social media called Slack where people were forming teams for this competition. Um, so that's all it really took. People said we wanted to deal with fake news and me and my friend agreed. Hmm. And, and on, the, on the psychology side, what are you looking for when you're looking for fake news? So for fake news, we're looking for a lot of uh, very subtle biases that might be present in articles um, and how these, art how, these, how these biases in the articles might affect the users reading them. But how can you tell or how does the program tell the difference between maybe something in the Washington Post or CNN that may be leaning left because the author has liberal tendencies versus something that is just straight up not true. Right. So I think it's important for our definition of fake news uh, on our software. We're not just, uh, we don't look at biased news. We're looking at news sites that deliberately try to deceive their viewers. So an example is the website msnbc.co, which is trying to impersonate MSNBC. Uh, MSNBC. Uh, and so that's the kind of level, site level of fake news that we're trying to tackle. So I'm hearing that Facebook is interested. I mean, this is pretty big news for you guys, right? Yeah. This is how he started getting really, really, really rich, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So what do they want with you guys? Yeah, so it seems like they're pretty interested in the, in the, in the idea. Um, uh, when we started this project, previous attempts uh, have focused on trying to use uh, machines to classify an article as either fake or real, mm -hmm. uh, but none of them have actually tried to target the users and to, to see if we can train users in just being more careful and skeptical when they're reading news sites, regardless of whether or not it agrees with their... So based on your technology, opinions. what happens? You enter a search term for a certain news story, you go to a site, mm -hmm. and what's the, for the reader, what's different about the interface then? Sure. So if the news site matches uh, on our database of fake news sites, uh, we show a pop-up warning that tells them why the site was being marked as fake news. And of course, they can dismiss this pop-up and continue reading. Um, on the other hand, in the background, we're analyzing the news sites that they're reading, looking at the major topics uh, and its biases. And let's say it's always, they're always reading um, you know, negative news about a politician. We might suggest a positive take um, on this posit uh, politician from another news site to give them a more balanced diet of news because we think that gives them the uh, clearer view of both sides of the story. So we got to ask, we, we bumped in with President Trump talking over and over over the last two years about fake news. How much of what people watching right now see online on Facebook, on their news websites, how much of it is fake? That's actually a very good question, and it's something that is, uh, was very alarming to us as we were working on this, is people's definition of fake news. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, people believe that you know, biased news against their opinions tends to be fake. And what we want to show with this extension is that we want to show people that just because it doesn't agree with your opinion doesn't mean that it's fake news. And we want to show people examples of fake news by having this repository where people will see warning signs over news sites that are actually fake, and they'll have the option to continue and see the site anyway, so they can go ahead and investigate themselves. It's fascinating. You know, we had a story uh, a couple weeks ago about the Pope actually said that, you know, the dissemination of false information of fake news is a sin. So you know, you're not just opening your mind. You might be saving your soul mm -hmm. in this. Um, tell us how we can find out more about it. Sure. So if you go to our website, openmind.press, um, you can sign up to be to get early access to um, our plugin. Uh, over 500 people have signed up so far. People from all walks of life, teachers, firefighters, researchers, and seniors, among others. So um, give, that's how you can... Give us the website again. Open, openmind.press. Openmind.press. I assume you guys are doing a, a couple of media hits on this. Make sure you head on over to CNN. The president calls it <laughs> very <laughs> fake news. I'm just saying, just make sure you stop there and do a segment there. Make sure that MSNBC's also, also. near there too, right? Yeah. Make it all the way around. Thank you guys. This is cool stuff. Yeah. And ultimately, it's a solution. Right. Uh, and yeah. which, is, which is the type of thing we're looking for. Proud of you guys. Awesome yeah. job. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. much. You got it. Guys. Thanks a lot.